guys haven't watched my life update video, I have moved back to Australia. I am in my new little filming studio here and it's not fully set up yet, so if there's an echo in this video, I am so sorry. I'm gonna go and buy a microphone, I promise. So as you guys might have seen by the title, in this video we are reacting to Victoria's Secret Supermodels photoshopping and face tuning their Instagram pictures. Victoria's Secret Supermodels are generally regarded as like the world's most beautiful women, aren't they? And I know on a more personal level as a human being that isn't a Victoria's Secret Supermodel, looking at these women can make you feel a certain way. It can make you feel a little bit inferior, shall we say. Like, why can't I look like that? Why don't I have that body? Why do I have cellulite? Why do I have hairy legs? Why can't I live that jet-setting lifestyle? Be a billionaire model! But let me tell you a little secret, guys. These Victoria's Secret supermodels aren't superhuman. They poop, they fart, they have BO, they get pimples on their butts, they are just human beings. Editing Stephanie here. I have to slot this one in at the start of this video because this one just blew my mind. While I was editing this video, I found these pictures of the beautiful, successful supermodel Miranda Kerr allegedly photoshopping her Instagram pictures before uploading them. And what makes this one even worse? She, or someone else, allegedly, photoshopped Miranda's stomach to look way smaller than it is in real life, but in doing so has made the woman next to her stomach bigger. The mind boggles. <laughs> when accused by her fans of photoshopping her belly, Miranda promptly deleted it off her Instagram account and denied editing the snap. She says, when I reposted the photo this week to support the girls, I screen grabbed it off the internet when I was working in Japan. I have no idea it was photoshopped. All good intentions, sorry for the confusion and congratulations to the girls for such a great show. Now, I don't know what happened here. Maybe she didn't edit it, maybe she did. If it was a stranger on the internet, as Miranda says, it would be a little bit odd to just edit Miranda and not the other girls, but I don't know what happened. Then, while I was doing more editing, I found this picture of Miranda Kerr, also allegedly photoshopped, and if you look closely, you can see that the carpet behind her is bending with her body. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've never seen carpet do that in real life, so it does look pretty suspicious, but I just have to ask the question, why? And unfortunately, guys, there's more. This is another picture that Miranda Kerr uploaded to her Instagram account in which her belly looks absolutely tiny. However, upon closer inspection, if you look at the bookcase behind her, you can see that the bookcase, once again, is warping to fit the curve of her body. Very strange. So let's start off with the beautiful Shanina Shake. Oh, my Shanina is an Australian model and she is absolutely stunning. Why should she ever feel the need to alter the way she looks for social media? Well, my loves, apparently she does, or someone in her team does, but when it comes to altering original pictures for Instagram, she is a serial offender. Take this picture of Shanina for example. Here she is at an event looking absolutely stunning. This is the original picture, allegedly untouched, but this is what actually made it to Shanina's Instagram, allegedly photoshopped. Let's play a little spot the difference here. As you guys can see, she has not only sucked in her belly and it looks less rounded than it did in the original picture, but not only that, her arm has also received the Photoshop treatment and her arm has been made thinner. Again, absolutely no need, don't know why that was done, but it was. Then there's this picture that was posted to her Instagram and if you look closely, you can see the background railing around her leg area bends, which led to a lot of Shanina's fans accusing her of photoshopping or face tuning her image. Now Shanina herself hit back and denies this and says, actually, I didn't edit my legs. I see what you're saying, but sorry, nah, proud of my legs. Now I'm not going to sit here behind the camera and accuse Shanina of lying because I don't know what's going on. Maybe the railing is just in need of repair. But if you zoom into the picture, you can see that not only is the railing warped, but the water behind the railing is also bending and the water's not doing that anywhere else in the picture, so it does look a little bit suspicious. Then there's this picture where Shanina is on the Victoria's Secret runway and she looks hot, but not good enough for social media. Just gotta suck that belly in, make it a little bit more snatched before it is good enough for Instagram. How sad is that? Like, there's just no need. Okay guys, I'm just gonna quickly pause the video here to say a huge thank you to this video's sponsor, Glaze. I'm so excited about this one. Introducing to you guys the Glory 
that is Glaze Super Gloss. If you guys haven't heard of Glaze Super Gloss yet or you haven't tried their products, I think you're gonna want to after seeing the results I got. So here is my hair before I started using Glaze and as you guys can see, my hair looks dead. Like the ends of my hair were literally snapping and breaking off. My hair had no shine. It looked and felt like straw. Then I got my hands on Glaze and this is what my hair looks like now. I haven't been to the hairdresser. I haven't had a trim. I haven't had my hair colored. This is all Glaze. So the way Glaze works and why it is such an epic product that I think I'll probably use for the rest of my life is that not only is Glaze Super Gloss a deep conditioning hair treatment, but it also refreshes your individual hair color at the exact same time. Glaze comes in nine different shades to enhance any natural hair color and there's also a clear gloss if you don't want any color refreshing and you just want the silky treatment. So the way it works is you subscribe over on Glaze's website and you choose which color glaze you want. If you guys have ever tried those at home hair dye kits or those semi-permanent colors you'll know how messy and annoying they are like you have to mix this with this and you have to get the exact correct ratio and you can't use metal because it will react with the chemicals. So much effort. Blaze, on the other hand, is so easy to use. You can apply it to dry hair or damp hair. You just mix it through your hair, leave it for 10 minutes, rinse it out, and voila, you are done. Now, aside from the way Blaze makes my hair look and feel, I also love that it is vegan and cruelty-free, and it contains none of those grotty ingredients that those at-home hair dyes contain, like ammonia, sulfates, silicones, and parabens. But instead, Glaze uses beautiful ingredients like the dreamy, Babasu oil to make your hair look and feel like silk. So if you, like I did, desperately need Glaze Super Gloss in your life, I will put the discount code and the link to check it out in the description box down below. Then we have Kendall Jenner. I'm sure you guys all know who Kendall Jenner is. She is a model in her own right and she has modeled for Victoria's Secret in the past. And here she is, pictured walking a Victoria's Secret runway. I actually think this picture is really beautiful, but apparently Kendall didn't because this is what was posted instead. So she's not only seemingly face tuned her face and made her jaw sharper and her lips bigger, she has made her arm thinner and her belly smaller. Like why? This is what arms look like. We need that bit of muscle behind our arms so we can lift things. Then we have the beautiful Stella Maxwell. She is Irish, which I love. Here she is at the Met Gala 2019 wearing this beautiful dress and she looks amazing. But not amazing enough because this is the original, but this is what was actually posted to Instagram instead. As you can see, she has, or someone, has sucked in her belly and waist made her bum bigger, but made her chest area smaller. Random, weird, I didn't know small chests were a thing now. Her whole face has been slimmed down along with her jawline as well. Anyway, Stella, or someone, didn't stop there. Apparently, she or someone in her team liked this picture, but not enough in the original form to post to Instagram. Gotta edit it just that little bit. As you guys can see, it seems that she or someone has tried to make her face seem more symmetrical by sharpening her jawline on the left and lifting that side of her face and then lifting her brow area on the right, but they've also made her chest area and armpits smaller. Again, why? And then there's this picture where she or someone has made both her belly and her pelvic region smaller. Okay, moving on to Joan Smalls, who in my opinion is one of the most stunning Victoria's Secret models. Just look at this woman. Is she not the epitome of cool? Here she is, pictured at the 2019 Met Gala. So here is the original photo. She looks amazing. And then here is a photo that made it to Joan's Instagram account. So not only has her butt been made bigger, because for goodness sake guys, you can't have a petite butt, but her jawline has been sharpened, her hairline has been raised. What I find kind of amusing, but also really sad at the same time, is that she or someone has decided to take it upon themselves to also edit her colleague, fellow Victoria's Secret supermodel, Candace Swinkle. Why has Candace's eyebrow been raised like that? Does someone think that Candace needs brow surgery? And Candace's jawline has also been made sharper. Why? Why edit another woman? Oh. There's also this picture where Joan's belly has not only been made flatter and her waist smaller, but her already slim legs have been made just that little bit thinner. And there's more. Her butt has been made bigger and her hairline and her ear have been raised. Honestly, every time I start researching to make one of these videos, I discover a new flaw that I should be insecure about. It's just ridiculous. 
ridiculous. Yeah. It would be hilarious if it wasn't so bloody damaging to women's self-confidence. Moving on to the beautiful Alessandra Ambrosio, this one I was surprised at. Alessandra Ambrosio has been a Victoria's Secret supermodel for such a long time. She has been so successful in her career. The world generally regards her as being the epitome of beauty. So I really didn't think that she or someone in her team would feel the need to alter or edit her images before posting them to Instagram, but apparently someone does. It seems that despite her success and despite her beauty, Alessandra Ambrosio may be just as insecure as any other woman on the planet. So here is a picture of Alessandra at an awards show looking absolutely beautiful and elegant as always, but here is what actually made it to her Instagram. Belly edited to look so much smaller, chest coconuts because YouTube censorships, chest coconuts lifted and arms made thinner. Then there's these two pictures where she or someone has not only added more makeup to her eyes in some kind of app, I guess, but her skin has also been airbrushed to within an inch of its life and her jaw has been made slimmer. And there's actually so many more pictures, so many more instances where these beautiful successful rich supermodels have felt the need to alter their pictures before uploading them to Instagram. And I have so many more to include in this video, but I can see that this video is already 24 minutes long. That is way too long. So I'm gonna have to try and cut this down. But if you guys wanna see part two of this video, let me know in the comments, give this video a thumbs up and I'll film part two and I'll show you guys all the other evidences of Photoshopping and face tuning of Victoria's Secret supermodels that I found because Personally, I find this kind of interesting. And the reason I find it interesting is because it just goes to show, like I said at the start, it literally doesn't matter how skinny you are, how beautiful you are, how rich or successful you are, you are not immune from feeling insecure or suffering with confidence issues. It's so easy to look at these models or even influencers and think, if I just had a flat belly, if I just got rid of my cellulite, if I just lost weight, I would be so much happier and my life would be so much better. That's just not the case. As you guys can see from this video, even the world's most beautiful women, women who literally make a living by being beautiful, like they put food on the table and pay their bills with their looks, they still feel insecure, they still suffer with their confidence and they still feel the need to alter their pictures before posting it to Instagram. When you think about it like that, it's actually really depressing, isn't it guys? Because it just goes to show that the society we live in expects so much of women. Like I say in every single video, we aren't dolls, we're not Barbies, we're human beings and we should be allowed to look that way.